and welcome back to Music Free Gaming. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. It is a great day to be fabulous, and you are nailing that part of life. It is great to have everybody here, and I am back on Tinker World. We're going to be having some fun over here. It's, it's going to be great and fun and also exciting and also... Uh, fun and I'm sure exciting and did I say that already probably let's get into the game <sighs> also I should mention I'm really tired so who knows how th where this is gonna go <laughs> I expect full punchy mode to kick in at some point today I, I'll tell you all right let's uh <clears throat> let's get started so I've been working on this tower for a while, and honestly, I need a break. It's a fabulous tower. I love this tower, but it, it needs a lot of love, and part of that love is going to involve lots of redstone and some other things. So, I think it's time to start an industrial district, and I have just the spot picked out. All right, so industrial district away. Also muted. Oh, I also need to set my status. Okay. Ah, yes. So, <clears throat> see if I can uh, figure out how to get where I need to be. It's over here somewhere. All right. Up on the. I remember that song from like the 60s up on the roof just me all right cool all right so i need to go to 355 that's positive x positive z a well yeah mostly this way and away we go yeah kind of this way there's that lovely line of torches which is cool not where i want to be but it's cool Here I am. Okay, so we're just gonna slap a label on this one. Industrial area. Okay. Here we go. Ah. <clears throat> <sighs> And here we are in this lovely village with its lovely iron golem and its lovely view of the ocean, which we're going to be taking full advantage of in a bit. Now, because I'm a glutton for punishment, um, we're going to be dealing with villagers. I know, I know, I do this a lot, and I'm sorry, but I need the villagers, and it's going to be a thing, so... Time to apparently find a good place to sleep and find a good spot for, uh, you know, a villager breeder. Because it's not like I've built a villager breeder in the last week. <laughs> ah, yes, yes, yes. All of the fun. All right. So, step one. Actually, I think building the breeder out that way might be a, a thing. All right. So. Let's see now. First step. Take over a house. I think. Sure. This house is good. Th this. I claim this house in the name of Spain. All right. First things first. Crafting table. Second thing first. It looks like I'm going to have to head back to my base because I forgot my shulker box. smooth that is the smoothest of smooths that is the i could not have picked a smoother smooth that it to ever have smoothed i put it down because i needed to get something out of it before i left that was just stupid all right also i should probably think about Maybe marking off kind of the rough direction I'm going to have to go when I leave this portal. All right. K. 
can't believe it. I even prepared. This is what happens when I prepare. I end up forgetting things, and that's just not any fun at all. Uh, so. Whoa, okay. I think. Yeah, I think this is the right portal. It's probably the right portal. Fairly certain. Yes, okay. It is. It is the... It is, in fact, a portal. Um... Okay. There we go. Ah. <sighs> sure, okay. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, did I set my status? I did. I am totally a status setter. I'd fly more, but honestly, I'm not going to. Hey, Tinker, how's it going? Snoopers also, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you both here. Tinker, of course, is the all-powerful, uh, you know, being of honor and, and virtue that uh, runs the server. Or sponsors the server, or something along those lines. When you set the status to use the link when you do it, I, I push you. That's right. I push you. Just whatever I want to set my status, I go find Tinker on the server, smack him around a little bit, and then, uh, um, you know, go with that. <laughs> no, it's just the, just the U key on the keyboard. It's all good. <laughs> Partly because when I get on the server, I'm not always ready to, or I, my status is not always the same. Like when I first logged in, I was not in any position to be uh, dealing with people. Also, I wasn't streaming. <laughs> Hack, wait, 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 wait. But yes, I just go and hit you. Pop up the Dealy Bob, and uh, yeah. all of the Bobs you could Dealy. All right, so I need roof. Okay, for those of you who think I've just I've done this before today, you're right. All right, here we go. Negative X this way. All right, I should probably think about. That's negative X. I, I need to go positive X. Oh yes, I know where I'm going. That way. Okay. Cool. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that wasn't cool. It uh, took me out of fly mode. <laughs> okay. Anyway, over here, Summers. What's that? 350 and... Oh, Z90. This way. There I am! Ah. See? It's a thing. I sometimes know what I'm doing. Okay. I could put down a little trail of breadcrumbs, but, you know. All right. Julio Binios. All right. So we'll slap one of those down there. Now, I do... Let's... Let's go ahead and keep those guys safe there. And this one... We'll slap down over there. Now... now I have... At, at some point in time, there were villagers here. I know, because I locked a couple of them away. There are a lot of sheep, though. That's good. Okay, there's a nitwit. Perfect. He's totally acting like a nitwit, too. Um, okay. Cool. Now, I had very briefly locked a couple of villagers at a house. Oh, okay, cool. Are there two guys in there? Ah, uh, just one. Fine. 
That's fine. We'll block it off anyway. It's all good. And then... Yeah, because I am going to need a couple of villagers. And... You know... That uh, it's going to be fine. Actually, I'm going to need more than a couple. But I need to be sure that a couple of them are safe and sound in some... Oh. Hi. You want to go in there, don't you? You do. It's a great place to live. I, here, Tweedledee or Tweedledum, one of you guys need to get in there. No, seriously. Get in the house. It's awesome. <laughs> You're exploring? Nice. Okay. Hi. No? Okay. Apparently, I'm going to have to wait till night. That's fine. So, let's figure out this whole I want to build a villager breeder thing. We can let it be. Oh, it's no big deal. I'm just being particularly stubborn. I'm tired, and it's got me all grumpy. Normally I'm dopey, and sometimes I'm also sneezy, um, but there are only so many dwarves I can impersonate at any one time, and, you know, oh, that's true, that's true, I could ring the bell. That's okay, not gonna, oh, and the winner is, okay. All right, so step one is figure out what the heck I'm doing. Step two, um, remember that I'm probably wrong. Okay, so we're going to come out from here. So let's start from right there. One. Cool. I can count to one, people. This is, a, I consider this a triumph today. All right. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great. Um, oh, cool. Rain. Let's do it. You know, it might be better going. Did we? Maybe? I don't know. I think both. So, all right. So, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, dude. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Yep, it's uh voice is off. Oh, yeah, okay, no worries. All right, now I do want to remember where my shovel is. There it is. You ever have that moment where you say, you know, I have tools. I could use them. I'm not going to. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, darkness. Yeah, especially with dirt. Yeah, totally. All right, you know, some of these people are probably in their homes or will be soon. Oh, look, apparently I locked some people in that, that house. Great. People locked in this one? Or is it just... No, no, that's just the fireplace. Cool. Um, Let's see. Who else? There was somebody... Probably somebody meandering around this way. It's not that big a deal. I just would really kind of like to be a little bit extra paranoid. It happens. Okay. Cool. Paranoia mode engaged. Okay. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> Yay. Or not sleep. That's fine, too. I'll just go cry. Good at that. Oh, yes, I did not bring my, I didn't bring my bow. It's probably in my toolbox. 
All right. Hi, dude. All right. Let's see. Tools. Tools are awesome. Just in case I actually want to shoot a creeper or something. I know. It's weird. All right. Cool. Come out. I don't care. I've got enough of them blocked off. I'll end up freeing a few of them later. Oh, look. Creeper. Look, my aim sucks. Sweet. Gunpowder farm activated. We are set. Okay, so we've got all sorts of good stuff going on here. Namely, I'm building land. So what this is going to be is a um, villager-powered villager breeder. Which, are, you know, those are always fun. Right, so one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. All right. And one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, because again, counting. All right, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what I'm gonna do, I haven't, I haven't made one like this before, though it's really not any different from the other ones I've done. This one's just gonna be a little bit bigger. Because I want the villagers to breed just a mite faster. So we're going to make that happen. All right. And this should be a lot easier to deal with than the uh, monstrosity of a villa villager breeder I built on the uh, on going solo last week. You know, it should be... Nice and easy. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. All right. Let's get a couple of slabs and some water. Which also sounds delicious. Did I? One of these things has iron in it. Oh, I did bring a bucket. Cool. Um. Also, let's craft up a couple of a couple of chests just for uh, the random junk. Awesome. Need that wool later. Probably will not need that clay later, but you know, who am I to turn down clay? Okay. Oh, right. Now, I need slabs. Okay, also, I need a sign to nether roof. Okay, just in case anybody gets confused and, and doesn't know. Okay, this just in, arrows really bad at scooping up water. All right, so that's going to go there. There. And, oh, I brought, yes, I brought actual trees. Okay. Yeah, actual trees. That's right. We are going to spruce it up, my friends. We are going to break out the spruce, and it's going to be all sprucey. All right. Sweet. All right, so we'll let that grow. So I have some other blocks to build with than uh, bamboo. Not that I don't like bamboo. I actually really do. But build with something that I can get in a little bit more abundance. Yeah, since I'm so far away from my bamboo farm, you know. Okay. And we'll grab those. We'll grab those. Okay.
All right, so grab some of that, and oh, I need trapdoors. Yeah. That's fine. Trapdoors are cool. Or at least that's the theory. Um, I don't want to do this. We'll do it this way. You know, this is one of those things. I'm just going to wing it. I don't really care about uh, anything super exciting here. Though this crop field is going to have to go. Kind of, sort of. At least this uh, composter. All right. So. My hoe. My hoe. Where to put my hoe? Ah, you know, it's in the toolbox. All right, so that's going to go there. Um, I brought plenty of wheat seeds. I, yeah, wheat seeds should be fine. Um, sweet. So right now, oh, trap doors because I'm remembering things. So I've got a couple of things going on here. Um, this first farm is a thing. So the villager breeder is going to go here. And then my uh, redstone farm is going to be out there in the ocean. It's going to be great. We're all going to love it. Also, I probably need to uh, erase that top level of island over there. Yeah, it's going to be... Uh, hopefully I have more rockets. Okay. Let's see, where am I? Cool. It's going to be out this way, probably. Let's see, it needs to be at least six chunks. Or it needs to be, yeah, six chunks away from everything, or three chunks away from everything. Holy Batman. Okay, cool. Um, I was not expecting that to be there. But okay, cool. So it's going to be out here somewhere. That'll be fun. But no, I was not expecting that uh, happy underwater pile of goodness. So that's cool. Huh. Seems there is bad scariness down here. You de eldered one of them? Okay. Yeah. That's cool. All right, so yeah, I'm I'm not too worried about the Elder Guardians, but, you know, if I'm going to be turning this into an industrial area, I could theoretically put together a Guardian farm. They're not hard. Okay. Yeah, so this is all going to go this way, all across here. The hardest part of a guardian farm is getting all the soul sand. So uh, that makes guardian farms easy. No flattening the thing, no draining an ocean, just Yep, just some soul sand and a really tall tower. Oh, the other thing I should probably think about doing is uh, setting up a lightning rod. That might be good. So I brought one, but that was for the farm. Um, did I remember to bring copper? Um, nah, just the one lightning rod. So that would be a no. Awesome. All right, so let's get some planting going out here. And yeah, and I'm gonna go with wheat this time. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't really matter if it's wheat or if it's carrots. Potatoes are sort of a bad thing because you could potentially end up filling up your, um, 
uh, your villagers with poisonous potatoes, even though I don't think they typically pick them up. But this should work just fine, so. Okay. You're not home? Okay. Okay, it's no big deal. I can always whip back to my place and get more copper, too. It's just a quick flight away through the nether, so. Alright. Yeah, that is one of the cool things about this area. Which, uh, yeah, find out later. It's like, oh, yeah, Snoopers is fairly close. Not, like, ridiculously close. It's not like we're, uh, you were sleepy. Okay, cool. Um... Hi. Congratulations. You're trapped. Aren't you happy about that? All right. So let's see now. Uh, who's doing things? Right. Oh, yeah. Things. These are things. We're going to make them. I don't need to make them. I've got a stone cutter right here. Cool. Wow. Look who's tired. That would be me. The good news is I'm not really going to be starting on redstone or anything like that today, which is probably a good thing. Okay. All right. Now, I also need... Why so tired? I woke up this morning at about 4.30. Which is a little earlier than I prefer. About an hour earlier than I prefer. Yeah, I'll grab a couple of bamboo gates. Um, so you know, it's uh, I could I could do with fewer of of those sorts of days. The good news is waking up that early allowed me uh, allowed me time to make breakfast this morning because I needed to. <laughs> I didn't have any made up, so you know that was that was nice. Okay. All right, now we are... Oh, yeah, this is going to be super crazy. <sighs> so step one. Take out all of the ways anything can walk in on this. I really should put actual walls on this thing. Not just like stone walls, but actual walls. And I should also probably uh, close off the bottom there. Okay, that's fine. I'll do it eventually. It's a thing. That's a problem for future me. Oh, but yeah. Woke up stupid early this morning. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a thing. You know, if you have the option to uh, get up at a reasonable hour, I kind of recommend it. Okay, and all of this needs to come out. Okay. And awesome, this needs to come out. Sweet. You binged War and Peace last night. Yeah, that'll do it. Nothing like a, a Russian drama to uh, really uh, take it out of you. All right. So I'm going to... Yeah, we'll put a couple of gates right here. Actually, you know what? Let's create a third gate. Why not? Duck. Okay. This is going to be the jankiest looking farm in the world, but it's okay. All right, nice. So now, let's go ahead and break a number of these... Uh, these things. But there are a lot of sheep out here too, which is interesting. Got beet roots, that's you know less interesting. Um you know I do I, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will, I will in fact make more stuff. 
I won't because I don't have any more cobblestone. Never mind. I just think. Guess who needs a cobblestone generator? Yeah, that would be me. Or, you know, I could just dig, but, you know, where's the fun in that? Cool, so let's see now. I need some more fence or cobblestone wall just for my own sense of silliness. Okay. And I think also for my own sense of silliness, um, hi. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal my uh, lightning rod here. Since I would actually kind of prefer the lightning to not strike my villagers, you know. I know, I'm weird like that, but it's true. That looks like flower forest right there, which is fun. Okay, so let's do things. All right. So that we'll just put there and then... These are going to make zero difference whatsoever. There's no reason for them to be here other than for decorative nonsense. Yeah, all of those nice witches. Honestly, I'd, I'd rather, you know, if I'm going to build witches, I'm going to build a witch farm. <laughs> yeah, witch heads are cool. Fortunately, this uh, farm should eventually produce them. All right. All right, so let's let's do one more thing. Hi. Did I put yes? Great, that can go in there. That can go in there. Put the oak logs for the moment. Let's grab some spruce. All right, just to I just want to run some spruce down here along the bottom of this thing. Also, let's. Let's see if I can, uh... no, let's make two more of those because that would make actual sense. All right, we're gonna set those there for a moment and theoretically, that's a really stupid idea, but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, but no, this is good. We're gonna, sorry, I'm sort of fast forwarding through this. Villager breeders are easy and I'm going to say boring, but I just built one last week and I don't really feel like I need to get super uh, technical and detailed with this one. Okay. Now the, the trick with this is actually going to be keeping other villagers out. So, ooh. I've got all that stone. Maybe I'll use some stone brick. All right, um, stone. Yeah, that should work. Stone brick, this will be fine. <laughs> yes, you know, it's like, sometimes it's a, uh, it's a thing. It's like the, the, uh, troll wall I put up the other day, you know? It's like, that was really dumb, but, you know? Okay, so we'll just bring this across this way. Now, some of this is going to change, but we're going to get at least the basic framework in here. <laughs> Very quotable. Yes, well, <laughs> some days, some days I'm more quotable than others. All right. Let's see now. Can I make with the jumpy jumpy? That would be a no, because why would I want to be able to jump up there? All right, so let's get some torches. All right. Um, there will be some there in the middle, but I'm going to do some stuff first, so so that's okay. 
All right. Um, just because I kind of feel like I don't want this here. That's a reason to build things, right? Or not build things or something. All right. Nice. Now, let's see. What would be the best way of moving these villagers? Okay. So, we're going to do it this way. <clears throat> All right, I suppose I should record a little bit of something here. Oh, but let's not do it right now because, yeah, I need to do other things. Ah, it's all right. We'll just do it from here. Cool. Okay. We have here a, the basis for a very, very basic villager breeder. Now, what I'm going to do is knock a hole in the wall because that's just what you do when you ha have farms, right? You just knock holes in the wall and then everybody's happy. Yeah, totally. Totally how that works. So the idea is just like every villager breeder in the world, including this one, you basically have your villagers out here growing food, if you're assuming you're not throwing it at them, they grow the food, they eat the food, they make sweet, sweet babies, and then those babies want to come jump on beds because we believe in child safety laws. And the bed jumping is 100% the way to go. So the idea is the babies are gonna come over here. We'll set up some uh, trap doors here. I don't have any set up at the moment, but that's okay. And Instead of making it to the sweet, warm comfort of the beds where they are both warm and comfortable at the same time, they're going to fall down into a uh, chamber of eternal bliss where I will ship them off somewhere where they will be eternally blissful and never to be seen again. At least, uh, yeah, that's sort of the idea. So I, I guess I should probably finish building this. All right, so eternal bliss um, is happening somewhere else. We are building, we're, we're building a farm. That's like being blissful, but in a totally different way. Um, I need some of this uh, stone, cobblestone actually. All right, and Fortune pickaxe, cool. All right, here we go. So, hi. Sorry, I need to use your job site. Villagers and bliss don't go together. Oh, sure they do. They just don't know it yet. Oh, I already had cobblestone wall. Awesome. Glad I made that other stuff. Oh, yeah, sure. They, they're they 100% full of bliss. Or is it ecstasy? One of the two. I, I think they're, or, I don't know. All right, so let's see. This goes that way and that way. More monkeys jumping on the bed. Okay. Yeah, so we'll just uh, get this going. Now, I need some trap doors, lots of trap doors, and a drop chamber because, yes. All right, so let's see now. We're going to get trap doors. I'm going to need not that many. I mean, that is a few, but not that many. Close enough. You ever hit that point in your life where it's like, you know what, I could care about the number of resources I'm using, or I could not do that and just craft up a zillion of them expecting to use them all later. Yeah, that's kind of where, where I'm at at the moment. Okay. There we go. Tall villagers are too tall to fit through the 
the gap of tallness. You must be this short to ride the ride. Awesome. Beds. All right. So let's grab our... Oh, you know what would be really cool? Inventory space. You're at that moment in your life where you misclick and make tons of something you didn't mean to. Yep. I have also been there. It's an excellent place to be. Hello, Minecraft Wild friends. It's come to crash on you again. Oh, it thought that I was having fun. And now it's gone and I am having none. And I think my computer rebooted. And now I'm sad. We get to watch the circle. Okay. That was... That was not great. Oh! Oh, I left. <laughs> there, There is lots of leaving that has happened here. Oops, I just doxed myself. Oh, well. It's not as if I haven't told everybody the title of my book that has my name on it. <sighs> That's all right. We get to deal with the, the uh, crackly of the uh, sound. Let me just turn that off for a minute. Okay. No, we're good. Everything's fine. <sighs> Everything's fine. It's fine. Just fine. Okay. My computer is so fast and Minecraft loads so fast will not believe how fast it loads. All right. No, I don't care. All right, multiplayer. We're gonna rejoin the world and hopefully not have Windows crashing goodness again. All right, so. Yeah, that was, um, <laughs> I know, so fast. All right, so I think, actually what I might do. Hey, dude, you wanna be a, villi a uh, farmer? Are, are you what really, are you uh, willing to take the uh, Stardew route and become a far uh, farmer? Stardew Valley is a great game, I've heard, so you know. Um, let's go ahead, dump that stuff up there, grab. Oh, I need that, thank you. Yeah, that was, that was epic, uh, crashing. <sighs> I like having an SSD in this, in this computer, but, uh, you know, every once in a while. All right, cool. Now, before I actually start bringing villagers in here, um, also I need my, I need to set up a drop chamber. That was cool. All right, um, planks and bucket of villager movement juice. All right, so let's meander around this way and figure out where this is all gonna go. All right, so let's get these planks in. Okay. All right, so we're gonna bring villagers down this way. And I think, ooh. I might need to slap a couple of trap doors on the inside here just to keep, just to keep the baby villagers in place. Okay, cool. That is doable, 100%. I can do things. All right, so we're gonna bring this down this way. Now, 
What I don't know is where I want the villagers to be shunted off to. So that actually is sort of an important consideration. It's like, where do I want the villagers? I don't necessarily want to drop them straight into the ocean because I want to, uh, I'm going to want a few of them over here. So let's just go this way. Yeah, we'll go this way. And I need them far enough away from the beds that they don't, uh, well, they don't think they still need to stay in their beds. So, again, a fairly doable thing, but I'm going to need more wood to do this. All right. Did my, did my tree grow? Yes, my tree grew. Perfect. So I'll, I will have more spruce when I'm ready for it. Cool. Oh, you know what? Is it just about night? Is that what that darkness is? Not quite. It's almost night. It's like night adjacent. See, this villager is going to be perfect as a farmer. I'll just break this, open up a hole in the wall, and he'll just walk right through. It's going to be great. Hi. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's going to be great. All right. So let's finish getting this going. I don't have any ice, but that's not overly a problem. Wow. Those are totally epic planks. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is we'll bring these villagers this way. Okay. Now, I need to be sure I throw enough light in there that nothing spawns and eats those villagers because that would be bad. Water. Gonna get some water. All right. Yes, I'm one of those lovely people who likes to sing, but doesn't do it well. All right, so we're gonna basically try to shove villagers over that way. Um, I think that's gonna be better. All right. Um, I'll put more? Sure, we'll do it like that. All right, cool. Nice. So now we'll bring villagers right across here. And I think I'll set them up in a little holding area over here somewhere. means I'm going to need at least a couple of rounds of uh, villager movement boosting power. Also, I need to uh, get them out into a square, so we'll figure out how that's going to work, too. Let's get some signs. Signs are over here. They conveniently store them in crafting tables. I know, it's it's cool. Um, do I need a few of those? Okay, do I still have those trapdoors? Yes. Okay. I just need a couple of... Uh... Yeah. At least a couple. I probably don't need these one, that one, this one. Because by the time the villagers get to here, they'll be down there. So, yeah, just enough to keep them from walking along the ledges. All right. Oh, water.
Now, this is going to be great. This is called uh, thinking and fast forward. And uh, I totally know how to do that. Right? Yeah. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that goes there. Okay. And then pushes that way. All right. So let's come out basically to a lovely spot here. I did not bring glass because that would have made sense. Um, cool. Ah, okay. Now, little known fact, you cannot use signs to fly. So I want this island to uh, be some semblance of gone anyway. We'll, uh, we'll just harvest some of the sand and stuff. It'll be great. Um, yeah. And by some of the sand, I mean like all of the sand. Yeah, see, just like this. Um, and yeah, I'll come clean out the rest of this later. But for now, take my one torch and cool. Yeah, great. All right, so let's see. I now need a furnace, which is over here. Hang on. I need more cobblestone. <laughs> All right. Cool. And furnace. Thank you. Okay. And we'll just slap it down right here because that seems like a good spot for a furnace. All right. Okay, something like that. That'll happily cook all of the glass that I'm looking for. Um, all right, so let's get the rest of this figured out. I think I put the lightning rod up there. I vaguely remember putting a lightning rod somewhere, so that's cool. Okay, so now, I put those signs in the wrong place. Awesome. This would be a little nicer had I ice, but oh no, I put them in the right place. It's all good. It was perfectly right. Now I'm paranoid. Did I put these ones in the right place? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're fine. All right, cool. So now let's get ourselves a nice bucket of water. We'll let this pour out and then figure out our Happy collection area. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is go this way. And we'll pop some water in there. All right. Yeah. And that'll work. We'll just... Yeah, we'll just bring them into this little tiny area because that's... That seems safe. Not at all a danger to anybody or anything or uh, anything. Yeah. Okay. I will, however, provide torches so that they don't feel too afraid of the dark. All right. And then I'm going to actually put glass in those two spots. All right, and I think also to make things a little bit happier here. Um, let's actually, I'm gonna go get some slabs. All right. Ah. Yes, it's gonna be great. We're gonna be totally, you know, great or something. Glass is acquired there. Um, 
Oh, right, slabs. I had thoughts. Sometimes I even remember those thoughts, but today it's one of those special days. Oh. All right, so that would be really awesome. Diet Coke, that would be awesome. All right. Not hashtag not sponsored, but if they want to send me free Coke, I will happily drink it. All right, so this is gonna come out this way and that way, and then right here, we're going to do the glass thing. All right, cool. <sighs> cool, all right. I think the breeder is ready to add villagers, though I should probably add a little light to it just to keep things from spawning on it. But the idea is, to really free cam up for a minute, the baby villagers, when they are born, will said want to come jump on these beds. They'll drop into this chamber and get whooshed down through this channel all the way over here to stand in a little box. Okay? It's a nice box. It might be a little bit too close to the beds, but I don't totally think so. I think it might be okay. We'll find out. But the next step is to get villagers into it, which is totally safe. And, you know, easy and things. Also, I need to be sure again for light and stuff. All right. You know, these villagers really need to think about lighting up their villages more. You know, they're sort of bad at that. Okay. He said this first villager is going to be easy. He says laughingly. All right. So step one. Switch to silk touch pickaxe. All right. They're, they're bad at city planning. Yeah. Yeah. This is what happens when you let AI design your town. It just doesn't work out as nearly as well as you might expect. All right. Hi. You're going to get in that hole, aren't you? Okay. So that's going away. Now what? So this goes away. Hi. Now that I've taken away your job site, you really want to come over here, don't you? Right, you totally want to come over here, Oops. take out that section of wall, and uh, you want to just kind of meander right into that farmland, right? That you're you're gonna crush. I'm gonna have to replant the crops, but oh, see, see, perfect. And you're gonna walk over there, and you're gonna become a farmer. And see, isn't that lovely? If you were trapped in a mass market computer, you would be the farmer in the Dell. I'm not going to apologize for that joke. All right. Cool. So that that part is done. Now I need another one. All right. So villager number the next one. Um, right. So I think what I want to do. Right. This one's empty. Hey, it's got a saddle. Cool. Let's take out some of these job sites. This is a town that definitely liked its leather. Hey, where's the uh, nitwit? Actually, I don't want a nitwit. I kind of do want a farmer. So The nitwit probably wandered off and is now living the sweet life in the beautiful San Fernando Valley. Oh, look, there's a nitwit in there. Okay. How you can say you contributed. Okay. Hi. How did you contribute? Also, how's it going? Oh, thank you. I can't pick it up because of, you know, 
inventory, but hey. <laughs> oh, that's why. I dropped it in your path before. Yeah. And you just skipped right over it. Skipped right over it because I have inventory space. All of the inventory space. I always have inventory space. Mm, totally. Well, <laughs> now I contributed. Nice. I did my part. Ah, uh, shiny. Now I just need to figure out where these villagers went and get them to go get jobs because they're lazy slackers who need jobs. Uh, let me check free cam. Yeah, here. Hi. Okay. So there's that nitwit. This guy... I mean, the nitwit wouldn't be bad, but... A house over here. That mm -hmm. that double-story house over there, you drop... I think you trap some. Okay. Yeah, I've got two right here, too. So what I really need to do is make sure that there are no um, job sites. Because then at least one of them will try to make their way to the farm. Okay. I don't think... Oh, yeah. There are lots of people in this one. And no jobs. Perfect. Hey, white top. How's it going? Glad to have you here. All right. Come here, my little villager friends. Or, you know, don't. That's a thing that you can do, too. <sighs> Two farmers would be perfect. Um, one farmer is okay, but... I put the... Where did I put that lightning rod? Oh, there it is. Ta-da. Okay. Oh, villagers, oh, villagers. Okay. You know what I need? I need a, like, Zedaf's villager on a chicken. Because then I could put a lead on the stupid thing and drag it where I need it to be and then take it off and it can just happily ride its chicken. Or I might kill the chicken at that point. But, you know. <sighs> that was also hilarious when he did that. It was on his video today. It was, it was great. Hey, guys. You know what's really cool? Coming this way to get jobs. Um. Oh, I should probably... Let's see. <clears throat> be sure the beds are... You know what? I've got a job site here right in my hot little hands. You loved it so much. Yeah, it was fun. Hey, come here. You want to be whatever this is, right? Leather working is your passion. Or, you know, maybe not. Maybe you want to drop it instead. Maybe try it again. Ah, yes. You're, you're so good at this. Okay. Oh, no, no. I guess that was the wrong job. Try this one. I'm, I'm not sure this uh, villager is really totally sold on leatherworking because he keeps forgetting how to do it. Well, maybe he wants to try this occupation. Ah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, ha he's going. Okay. Cool. This one's going in a boat. All right. All right. Let's, all right, come here. Okay, you know what's really cool, though, is going inside. Go go into the house. Yep. Oh, he can't go in the house because there's a, okay. Hey, there you go. Yes, go in the house. The house is full of joy and, and happiness. See? See? I told you, joy and happiness. Um, Speaking of joy and happiness, where's my hoe? There we go. All right. Perfect. <sighs> well, that was relatively painless. We now have two villagers in here. The villager breeder is now running, which is awesome. I mean, it'll take them a little while for them to get all happy and full of, uh, you know, joy and life and stuff. Take those out now. But... Hey, I'm sure it'll be great. They'll get all of the baby villagers down where I need them. And that is awesome sauce. Yeah. I... 
<sighs> you know, nitwits are great for two things. Villager breeders and iron farms. And that's it. Okay, so let's see now. So we've got ourselves the villager breeder. Let's go ahead and clean out some inventory space. I'm going to go clean out that island. And then I need to figure out where the heck this is going to go. Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, good enough. All right, so this island is going away. Said it's a lovely island, but it is definitely going to be in the way, so. <sighs> okay. Cool. So now, let's see. How far out do I need to go? Let's... Oh, it's a fish. I thought it was a cat. I mean, it's not even a catfish. But still, that would have been really funny. Okay. I don't get to fly, apparently. Can I switch? No? No? All right, fine. I don't get to. Ah, so I've got a couple of things in mind that I want to manufacture out this way which will happen over time one is redstone but the other thing i want to do is i think i think i want to uh make explosive rockets for uh you know explosive firework rockets for use with crossbows that sounds like fun it's not something i've done before so i mean i've used crossbows before i like crossbows but yeah all right, I probably can't see inventory because, yeah, I'm on a server. Sweet. So, yeah, so that's going to be part of that plan is uh, all of that. Now, I need a boat. That was the reason I came home. Goody. All right, so let's grab some candy dandy. Deedly Bob's here. And let's get ourselves a boat. And, you know, sleeping? Sleeping. Yes, sleeping. All right. So. So what I'm going to do while they do the whole villager breeder thing, um, we're going to come out this way. Now, the way this is going to kind of sort of work is I do need to find a spot out here so all right now the way the, the way this magic goes so let's see i am at okay 28770 okay is i need to options video settings render distance cut that down to six i know that's really really low but that's okay is what I need to do is we're going to sail out this way. And basically, I need to go out here until I don't see land. Okay. And once I'm there. Okay. Looks like a fun and exciting place. Okay, cool. In fact, if I come over here. Am I still land free? Yes. Okay, this is going to be the, the perfect place. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop off. Um, grab some grass blocks here. All right. And we'll just build it right off of this. Perfect. All right, now, because I'd like to be able to find my way home again. Video settings. Let's take this back up to oh, 12. Thank you. Sweet. Okay, we're kind of close over there, but I think we're far enough away. I hear Golem decided to go to the nether. All right, well, that's cool. 
<laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's a, we need nether golems. Okay. And I think this is actually far enough away from that uh, area over there, too, that I can have fun with the, uh, with a, maybe a guardian farm. Well, look at all that sand right there. Wonderful. Got all this kelp. Oh, man. It's going to be great. Actually, kelp could be super useful. Because... I think so this is going to be an industrial area so having a furnace would be cool so you know maybe make it kelp powered now that that's a thing that can happen because of the crafter and stuff that could be f that could be fun hello sheep all right now i'm just going to light this area up a little bit because he's dark Wow. All right, cave. Squawk, cave of wonders. Uh-huh. Your side is deep and scary. Um. Me some more like you. All right, well, that's fine. Just, uh, slip out of the deep and scary and call it good. But yeah, I th I'm thinking there are a couple of farms here that that could be really nice. Um, yeah, you know, a nice smelter, a, a kelp farm. Um, actually, I need a pretty significant sugar cane farm if I'm going to be making rockets. Uh, and I forgot somebody on the server is, is going to be making flight rockets and stuff. But I said, I want to build... I'm thinking I want to make crossbow ammunition. So it's part of it's an experiment for me. I've I've preferred the crossbow ever since I started using it. Okay, to the to the bow. The problem is the bow is so powerful. It's like why bother using the crossbow? You're also going to make fireworks? Nice. Yeah. So because the, the thing with a bow, especially if you you get power five, maybe punch two, and maybe some, uh, you know, fireworks or, or uh, some put flame on your bow, all that fun stuff. You're one-shotting your basic mobs, right? Which is great. And actually, it's awesome. It's great. I like to be able to do it. But it's... Uh, the crossbow can't do that with arrows anyway. So I want to try crafting up, you know, the the super ammo. You can do flowers and dice. I'm not looking at, at selling it. So if you want to make fireworks and stuff and sell it, go for it. But what I'm thinking, I also need, oh, look at this place. This actually could be could be interesting, but I want to see what happens with um, with a if you take a fully powered crossbow, or at least as fully powered as it can be, and then load it up with uh, you know firework rockets, like I don't know the level five. It's like I don't know, flight two maybe at level five. I mean the the flight one at or at speed one at full power, like with seven fireworks charges. Yeah, oh yeah. People would, would definitely go off with a bang. And so that's kind of what I'm wondering is would that be enough to match the power of a bow? Right? Would that be enough to be able to to uh, oh look copper cool? Would that be enough to one shot skeletons or creepers? Right? And I don't know. And so it's something I want to experiment with. So to do that, I'm going to be building a, basically a fireworks factory. 
So, you know, gotta. So I've got to get all the stuff in place. So that's why all of the uh, farmy goodness is happening out here. That like I said, it may not work. I may try it and realize, yeah, this this just doesn't cut it. But I want to want to try it and see. And I said maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But it's worth the experiment. And yeah. Making people explode could be fun, you know. Uh, it was kind of fun. I was watching, um, who was I watching? Impulse SV. I was watching his stream today. And he uh, hooked up with, was it Hypno? Who organized it? Hypno, Cub Fan, and a bunch of other people. And they decided to go, just go on a dragon murdering spree and kill the dragon like, nine or 10 times so they could open up all of the end portals. And they did it with crossbows and rockets. And of course it was beautiful watching the uh, fireworks display as they all unleashed upon the uh, perched uh, fireworks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, use a multi-shot crossbow. That could, you know, up close. I mean, the thing's a shotgun, right? Now, I use the, uh, the, what's it, the Flight 3 rockets? Those are a little bit more, um, those will give you a little bit more range. So, I, you know, it's a balancing act between damage and flight time. So, I said it's, it's something I want to experiment with. And so, hey, I like doing technical things. This is a, an excuse for me to do something technical that I've not done before. So we are going to do that. Also, you know, light up at least a fair amount of this land anyway. Just keep the, the basic creepers out of the way, you know. There may be a few things that wander up, but you know, try to try to keep uh, at least most of the scariness somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm I'm also tempted, though I'm probably not going to to build a, a little iron farm, just a little like one cell iron farm, just so it's convenient out here. Uh, we've got that excellent community farm, so there really isn't any need, but at least this way I'd have the iron here and I wouldn't have to go some place else to get it. Okay, oh good, sleeping. All right, so let's see now. These guys are probably not full of uh, foodstuffs yet. Ooh, that's the other thing. I should probably break into these houses and break all the beds. Just to be sure that uh, those are the only br beds that they see as part of the village. All right, so let's hand over here, lava. Ooh, look. Actually, I'll take the gold. I don't care about the rest of the stuff, but gold is useful. Yeah, but I know a few of these houses have beds in them, so. I am tempted. There's, uh, I was watching Oh, what was I watching? ENXO4 had a video about um, a villager trading hall. Now, I don't need a villager trading hall for, um, you know, books and stuff because we've got the community center and it's got all sorts of good stuff, right? But what I am con considering is maybe um, 
just some random librarians for glass or perhaps um, maybe some stone cutters though I'm also thinking that uh, oh what would I get some I was thinking some stonemasons but on the other hand, I could build a clay and terracotta farm. That could be fun too. So yeah, anyway. But yeah, redstone dust. Yeah, I can get from creeper or from creepers. Yeah, no, that's not how that works. No, redstone dust I could get from from clerics, which is great but I'm going to be getting redstone from this farm because I'm actually going to be building a raid farm now I've never built a raid farm before so I am 100% going to be going off a uh, tutorial which will not be happening today that will be happening at some point probably tomorrow I'll log in tomorrow and build the farm then but okay there are no beds up here I think I've already been in this house to check for beds I should just remove the doors but okay so villager trapped in there but he's an insomniac so we're good you know I have ender pearls I could use them Okay, bed go bye bye and also bye bye. Okay, and Ender Pearl. Uh, sure. We'll just we'll just hope for the best. There's no possible way this could be scary. Oops. All right, no, that worked. <laughs> if I thought about it, I'd have thrown it and then finished putting the uh, roof back in place. At, ow. And then the Ender Pearl would have whipped me right out of here and everything would have been awesome. Okay. I also wasn't paying attention what the uh, nether biome was when I... I'm curious. I'm going to dip into the nether for a minute. The... Because uh, uh, there are a couple of things. I'd like to build a uh, bartering farm. Crimson forest, huh? I could actually, I, well, I could build a pork chop farm. Leather farm. That could, that could be a thing. But, all right. Sweet. So this is lit up. We've got ourselves some happy villagers. Hi, you have bone meal. Could you guys like, oh, I forgot some trap doors. I, cause I think, I think they're able to reach those composters. That's a problem. That is a problem. Um, uh, crafting tables right here now. All right, save those beds. I may need them later, but yeah. ENXO4's um, farm was actually really cool because it um, provided a nice way for basically automatically loading villagers into uh, trading cells like day one. It was really, really cool. Alright. Now, so you guys are are you guys doing y'all in love and stuff? Did you, did you make the babies? Yes, they made the babies. Ha ha! Congratulations on your new lives. Sweet. Okay. All right. This is good. This is good. We have our first victim. I mean, contestant. Our first contestant. 
who will be uh, taken out into the ocean and, you know, scared to death a lot. But he doesn't know that yet. It's going to be fine. <sighs> cool. Now, I only need like four villagers, five maybe, five villagers to make this farm work. So that's going to be awesome. But it's going to take a little time for them to all show up. So I can wait. All right, while that's happening, um, let's see. We've got carrots, we've got wheat over here. I really should go find some sugar cane. I suppose I could go back to my base and find sugar cane. But that's okay. Yep, so many flowers. Let's see, is this? Is this flower forest right over here? Ooh. Oh, it's plain. Yeah, flower forest cornflowers. I wonder if that's actually a cornflower spot. That would be cool. Got yeah, some nice blue. Yeah, this is all flower forest out this way, too. Okay. Cool. Because I'm going to need some dye, which I might get from... Might get it from a cactus farm, or I might uh, build a bone meal farm so I can get dye from like these two tall flowers. That's another option because to build a fireworks charge, you need gunpowder and you need a dye of some sort. So having some form of, of dye would be a good thing. Just. Uh, don't know. Whoa. Okay. I just don't know which sorts of dyes I want to uh, go in for, you know? Cactus is nice because it's passive, right? You don't have to do anything for it. You just have to cook it. Which, again, goes into the uh, that whole smelter idea. Um... For everything else, you kind of need bone meal. So that's not where that's going to go. Right? I can either... Yeah, bone meal the two tall flowers and get all the purples and, you know, whatever. Pinks. Or I could use um, cherry blossoms. Those are... That's absolutely a thing, too. What the heck are you doing down here? I don't call you a nitwit for nothing. Let's... Come on, man. Let's... All right. You know what? You live in your hole. Yeah, you be you be a nice hole type of person. I'm sure I could even... You know what? I'm going to block him in. I'm just going to lock him in his hole. You know, we're going to... I'll even... Let's put a sign even here. We're going to put in a sign... Uh... Warning, nitwit below, there, that, that's, okay, that's fine. Okay, so, with that in mind, let's make it back over to the house. Okay, I think I've lit this area up reasonably well. Here's your sign. Yep. Ah, uh, Engvall is so good. His comedy is so, so good. All right. I didn't put that back. Um. Hey, Snoopers, you know a good place to uh, get a... I guess I really don't need a lily pad. I was thinking I needed one, but I don't. Never mind. Never mind. Lily pads are not needed. All right, so let's figure out if I'm going to be building a sugar farm where do i want to put it and where would i want to build a lots of diorite um kelp or i don't know some other some other fun farm um 
Oh, I don't know. That, ah, uh, it's wide open fields. It could be anywhere. Okay, excuse me, sir. Following the, the round like that might, are you okay? Are you, seriously, are you okay? Do I need to talk to HR or are you guys good? Because I've, I've taken those trainings. I understand if, if do you need a confidential resource? No, good. Okay. I think they're fine. Yes. Um, yeah, that's a possible, actually, that's a really interesting idea to make it a light powered sugar, sugar cane farm. Um, the problem with that is I would need to, I would need to get a bunch of, what do I need a bunch of? I would need a bunch of slime blocks because I would need to build some flying machines. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. But there is nobody living in this one, right? Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to tear down this house. It doesn't matter if there's somebody living in it. Look at me. I'm a general contractor. Ooh. I'm sorry. The government has said your house has to go. I don't care if you're still living in it. Bye now. You can write your congressman. They'll uh, reply in six to eight weeks. But your house won't be here by the time they do. So it's all good. No, we're fine. But yeah, actually in a lay powered, because I haven't done a lays yet. And I've been wanting to, I've, it's one of those things I wanted to do too in, um, in my solo world. So I could do it here. Certainly in a lay powered sugar farm would be kind of cool actually. All right. All right. Well. That's definitely a thing. Yeah, one of the things I was looking at too, because I can do a lay-powered sugar, because that'll grow on its own. I could do a lay-powered kelp, even. Um, don't need to, but I could. Kelp's a little bit easier because you've got water just right handy. And I happen to know somebody who has a lays. So I might be able to uh, figure something out. Yeah, we might be able to work something out, you know? All right, so. Dump a bunch of stuff in the box. Oh, so much stuff. Okay. Got plenty of stairs. That's actually an excellent idea. But yeah, I'm going to need oh, a zillion slime blocks. You know, I wonder if there's a slime chunk nearby. Oh, well, certainly is. But. Yeah, probably from that island outpost. Yeah. So. Last time I went hunting for a laze, I, uh, I think I lost my hardcore world <laughs> so yeah oh no trust me i i will 100 percent disappear down a rabbit hole of farms i will need to make it a point to return back to the uh, community area it's like yeah i want an smp there are other players here we could actually like you know talk and get into shenanigans and hijinks All right. Cool. All right, let's go drop off some of this stuff. Go back for that cobblestone because I'm apparently lacking in cobblestone. So, you know, be nice to have some more of that. And the glass, which was happily cooking way over here. All right. So much stuff. All right, you know what? Let's um, let's do this. Let's craft up a few barrels. Okay, and I'm just going to. Uh, how is that actually a path block? All right. 
That's fine. We're going to give myself a little bit more storage. And I am going to resist building a storage room out here. My main storage is going to be back at my tower. Okay. We're going to not storage out here. Oh, oh, I'll probably have some storage out here just because it would be really inconvenient not to. But, but I don't think I'm going to put my main storage out this way. Okay. That's, I think I want it in the, in my tower. All right. So. All right, so let's flatten out an area here. Because once the gunpowder farm is going, which is going to be awesome, again, because raid farms are cool. All right. I'm going to need all this paper. So, yeah. Now, I'm probably going to have to manually bring the gunpowder from the farm back here, but that's okay is going to be awesome. Alright, so... Flying machine. Alright, yeah, so that's going to mean all the stuff. Yeah, so I think... Who has the slime farm? I think Tinker has a slime farm on, on the server, so... We'll have to uh, we'll have to talk to Tinker about getting some slime. I don't know if he set up a shop for that or not, but that would be that would be really nice. Okay, so if I were to if I were a flying machine, where would I be? All right, now. Let's see. Have to make it tall enough, wide enough. <clears throat> Sugar is a little funky, but that's okay. So I won't be using mine carts and stuff. He's not yet. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember I took one, one slime box block from him when I set up my uh, initial bamboo farm back at, at the tower. You know, try not to abuse the kindness of others, you know? Actually, do I just want to take this whole hill down? Is it just in the way? I mean, sure, if there's a horse and some pigs and stuff in here. You know, it's, it's definitely a place. Okay. Well, I mean, I could always AFK the farm for him for a while, too. And pay for it that way. All right. So, how are we doing here? We've got two. Okay. Great. You know, I could speed this up a little bit. Because there's lots and lots of hay bales hit, sitting out here somewhere. Actually, the other thing I would probably want out here is a wheat farm. Um, because I, I like to use target blocks, and wheat is... Well, it's a pain. Building, building hay bales and stuff is... Uh, it's just, just a lot to it. So, you know, we'll see. Okay, that's right. And see, he can't get to the bed because of all the trap doors and the fact that he's tall. All right, which is great. Great, great. All right, so we've got ourselves a place. Let's, let's put this dirt away. Actually, let's do it this way. Grass and dirt is going in this one. And I will totally remember that that's where that goes. 100% remember. Absolutely, totally. Okay. 
so let's get some some stone. I don't know why this stone and not the other stone. I was just just gonna go with it. So something kind of around this way. Actually, I should probably cut down my tree. Yeah. How do I not have scaffolding? All right. Well, that's fine. I had scaffolding in my project box, but somehow I don't have scaffolding on my person. So cool. That's all right. I can always run home and get some scaffolding if I need it. All right, but yeah, nice little... So I gotta figure out how wide it needs to be. Because flying machines are sort of particular in how big they are, you know? You make them too big and they just cease to be flying machines and they just become decora decorations, you know? Okay, I think that house is going away too. All right. We'll just, uh... Hello, cat. Anyone looking for an orange cat? Found one. He's there, he's orange. All right. I don't know if he's got the mentality of an orange cat, but, you know. Okay. But yeah, that would be, that would be cool though. Um, so I could flying machine, the, oh, of course, if I built it this way, that might be interesting. Just a nitwit buried down there. Um, for all I know, that nitwit's gonna suddenly burst out of that place wearing a hockey mask and carrying a machete. You know, like they do. All right. The only reason I was thinking maybe I'd build a flying machine out towards this is I've got all this empty space, which I could then use for collection system. Because even with the lays, you still need a, uh, everything still moves down. So you need a place where you can uh, offload all of the, the stuff and then craft it and store it and all that good stuff. So, and if it's a flying machine, you know, it can go, it can go anywhere, but I would have to plant a lot of dirts. So maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so... I have to look. I was... I assume I had a really nice... I think it was... I can't remember if he used it for bamboo or sugar cane. But he had a really nice setup. Over there on Hermitcraft. And... Using a flying machine that theoretically... Is... Uh, Disconnect safe. You know, that will just sort of... It's sort of a self-healing flying machine. At least it was until it broke. That is the other problem with flying machines, is they do tend to break if you're not careful how you use them. But... Hmm... All right, well, something to consider. All right, so I've got this area now. That might be, might be okay. Where's my, where's my guy here? Let's see how my villagers are coming. That looks like we got three, perfect. I'm not even sure I'm going to rail those guys out. I may just get... Because I'm going to be hitting them in the ocean. Right out there to that torch. I should be able to just load them up in a boat. Yeah. And 
sail away to where I need them. But again, that's going to be something that happens, I think, off camera. Or at least off stream. Because, said I'm going to have to be back and forth to the tutorial. And that's just hard to do while I'm streaming. Oh, there's an idea. No, no, no. I could build it underneath the the villager breeder here, but that's just silliness. We're going to cleared all of this nice space here and let's come up this way. Do I want Oh right, that's the animal pen and then the land bridge up that way. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue to flatten this area here a little bit and Because I think I'm going to want this space. Um, I could mix and match on my stuff, though. On the rocket ingredients. Right, the, the firework charges. Because I... You know, because like they said, I could, I could mix and match green and red and pink and, you know... Green and red will have Christmas fireworks all year round. Of course, I could just set up the Bomeo farm and feed you know, white dye into the fireworks, too, for that matter. Hmm, so many options. So many options and so little thought. <laughs> Ah, yeah, I'll have to hit up Tinker and just see. Um, but first, let's finish tearing down this house because, you know, we've got to make way for the factory, you know. I've seen that movie. I know how that works, right? The the developer comes in, tears down the house so he can build a new factory for his, all of his wants and desires. Yep. That's where we're at. Okay, so that's all going to go in there. Dirt's going to go in there. Flowers are going to continue to exist. Um, okay, let's just take the, the stone and cobblestone is going to go here. Right? Sure. Okay. I can walk through doors without... Oh, that's a tree. You know... I live in the Rocky Mountains, okay? I'm used to seeing spruce trees and pine trees, and you get some pines, right? They'll, they'll grow like that. But man, I really like a nice, well-formed spruce. You know, especially the, the blue spruce, which is so common here in Colorado. Oh, they're such nice, nice trees. Like this one, which I'm sure was a symbol of hope for the village, but it, it doesn't need to be here anymore. Okay. So that's going to be there, I don't, and I think that's going to stay there. I should maybe think about some form of larger housing and stuff, but we're going to... We're just going to flatten this space while we wait for the villagers to grow up. This is, I know, it's its the most riveting of content, but I'm not sure I have the uh, mental capacity to do much else. All right, so... Right. Seeds and trees and flowers and stuff is going in there. Grassy goodness is going in there. Mossy... Cobblestone and stuff is going there. Sure, this is now the wood box. Congratulations, you've been promoted to wood box. All right. Oh, how's the light doing out here? Not great, to be honest. Let's, uh, let's not get ourselves creepered here, shall we? Whew. All right, 
we're making progress. Now, theoretically, now I think the villagers will only breed like once per day. But the reason I set this up as a double farm is so that it will, they'll get the crops they need, they'll get the food they need to breed faster. Right? Right. So we should be coming down here and with, yeah, just, still just the three. Okay. Yeah. This is a little bit easier if I, if I had ice with me, but I don't, so we're just doing it this way. All right, so this is... I've never built a flying machine for before. No, I have built a flying machine for, before. I built one for a uh, for an ice farm, which is sort of a which is sort of a weird thing to to build. So let's clean out the inventory first. Or if, before I go evil land developer on this uh, on this house over here. So yeah, they're doable. They're just fragile, which is the the big problem with flying machines. If you're ever looking at building such things, say they they're very fragile. They tend to to break. Most of them they're easy enough to put back together, but the question is, you know, how often do you want to have to put it back together? And so you have to remember to turn them off when you're leaving the area or chunk load them. Um, and I don't really want to deal with chunk loaders. These chunk loaders are hard on servers, and I don't want to do that. Now, there are some lines that, honestly, I don't uh, like to cross very often. A permanent chunk loader is sort of one of those. Uh, when I built my Warden Silencer over in uh, Going Solo, it has a chunk loader. But it's just a temporary turn it on when I need it, turn it off when I'm done, and I'm the only one on the server. So if it causes problems, it's just me. I don't want to build something that's going to uh, lag out other people on the server. That's just not nice. Okay. This village is just about just about gone. It's uh you know said once upon a time there's a thriving village here, and soon there will just be a factory. Oh yeah, right. Okay. We'll just uh can do it. Absolutely. Absolutely can do this. All right. Let's see how many times I end up getting teleported into a wall. Which is, it's happened surprisingly often as I've used ender pearls. It's like, congratulations for your ender pearlage. You are now inside a block. It's like, you know what? That's not where I wanted to be, but thank you. I guess. I'd be on top of the block next time. And pro's like, no. No, I think inside of blocks is, is totally where you want to be. All right. We've got ourselves a lot of light out here, which is definitely a good thing. Trying to uh, spawn proof this area at least a little bit. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be okay. What am I doing on rockets? Not, you know, fabulous, but. Don't tell me there's actually village building down there. Nope, it's just road. 
Okay. Cool. I guess. Also, gravity works. Yeah, gravity works. No, I didn't particularly like the movie Fern Gully, but that was, but Robin Williams as, as Batty, I guess his name was, was definitely worth the price of admission. Of course, Robin Williams in just about anything is worth the price of admission. Okay. Okay, so. All right, so here we go. The only movie that has your name as the main character. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> All right. I had certainly grabbed your attention. I get that. I think the only movie that I've remember seeing that had my my real name as a character name was uh so I've already doxed myself once today. Uh was in Monsters Inc. It's like, okay, good, I'm a villain. Yay. A villain with bad eyesight, I think. Alright, we are getting Oh yeah, darkness. That's that is absolutely what's down there. Cool. All right, Ender Pearl skills go. We'll just wait here for a minute. <laughs> Let me file my paperwork. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> but. Yep. Always watching, Zasky. Can't I can't do Ross's voice. She's got a special breed of, of voice there. Would be a good one to be able to do, just for grins and giggles, but you know. Oh hey. I've been in this hole before. Awesome. It might be fun too, even though I'm not gonna do it right now. Would be to uh, whip out chunk base or something and just see if there are, um, see if there are any useful spawners nearby. You know that could be, that could be good. You know. <laughs> Bookkeeper has a little. Yeah. Right. Nope, I get it. Roz was fun. Roz was fun. All right. I think... I think I've got enough of this area lit up that I don't, I'm not going to have to worry about uh, surface mobs anyway. Certainly enough horses out here to uh, keep people happy, but... All right, so doing okay. Still have, still have three. No more babies. Why you no more make it the babies? I am wanting you to make it the babies. I have told you before. Please to be making the babies. I'm unsure. I could take these guys over too. I mean, no, I can't use the nitwit. I need somebody who can actually claim a job site and nitwits are not it but the other guy the other guy i could totally do all right so well this is this is looking really barren <sighs> so i've been waiting for my villagers to uh breed up the the number of people I need for the raid farm and I've been cleaning out some space here where, where I think I'm going to be putting in 
a sugar cane farm so that I could use it for paper. Um, and, you know, it's a nice big space. So that's going to be its own special breed of fun to get that built. But I'm going to have to go hit up uh, somebody. I think Tinker. Tinker might have the slime slime bits. So we'll go see Tinker about his slimy bits. It'll be great. And ooh, beehive. Maybe a honey farm or two would not go amiss. Okay. Hmm. That. I don't have to use slime. I could use honey. I don't have honey either, but, you know. All right. Cool. Well, this is a thing. It's absolutely a thing that's happened. All right. Now. There's nobody over there jumping on the bed, so yeah, we're good, right? <sighs> yeah, you sell honey. Nice. Yeah, that might be because I would need. Well, the same same thing with slime blocks. I would probably need half a stack, maybe. Probably probably not that many, but something close to that. I'll have to take a look. I, I actually, I, I think I'd feel better with um, the slime because I need the stuff to not stick to the honey as it sweeps across. So honey is probably not going to work. Though if I decide to do two flying machines, which is something I'm considering, Having one be honey so that they don't stick together might be helpful. On the other hand, I could just put a space between them because it's sugar cane. It doesn't have to, I don't have to be like super, super duper Mondo kind of epic mega efficient in stuff. I just need a, I just need a little bit of sugar for paper for fireworks. So I can do my whole crossbow firework experiment. I know, it's a lot of work to just do experiments and things with some things, but you know. How's it going, Carp? Welcome, welcome. Glad you could be here. Alright, clean out a little bit more of this space, just because I don't know. I'm reveling in the flatness. You know what happens when you drive over a spruce tree with a uh, steamroller? You get flatness evergreen. Okay, I'm going to see myself out. <sighs> All right, so this is good. You know, this. I'm going to move this. It's fine. It's just... Uh, you need to shut down your, your honey farm. Okay, I get that. Honey farms can do good things. Actually, what the other thing I want to do, and it's going to take... it. They're easy to set up, but it's a little bit of a pain because I want to set up a copper farm. Like a full-on, we are going to generate copper by the stack. But that involves trucking zombies into the end and that is but I, I could build one out here actually that's actually an idea so I'll have the that farm there we've got ocean I need to do this away from snoopers so I don't uh, interfere with uh, her property so maybe I'll go up this way let's take a look there's a fair amount of ocean this way. Kind of. Yours is overproducing? Yeah. But yeah, if I come out this way, I could just build it up in the sky. Heck, I could build it up in the sky anywhere, but... 
Maybe I'll build, just build it here. I just have to get a zombie or two up there. That could be... That could be fun. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, basically to build a crazy simple copper farm that produces like mad. You need to put zombies up. You need to put zombies in a place where they spawn in a place where you want them. So basically you you, you hit them with sweeping edge through an armor stand that does a little bit of damage and triggers um, the zombie reinforcement mechanics. And it sucks in zombies from different areas, but you need to be sure that they are in um, all the areas you need them to be. So that they, they spawn in the farm. And then they walk in and you just beat them to death as they then convert to drown. And then you continue to beat them to death until they actually die. But they just call in reinforcements till the cows come home, which is fabulous. Um, but... Yeah, it's uh, problematic. <laughs> Plenty far from you? Okay, cool. Because, yeah, I think... Because I'm going to be straight out this way for the raid farm, which is fine. And I said, I think I know you're... I think you're south of me a bit that way. Assuming I'm thinking the right direction. Yeah. But, yeah, if I head out that way... Heck, I could just build it up at uh, build height up here, too. That would be okay. You have no plans for oceany things. Okay, cool. Actually, yeah. That might be easier. So the other trick is to... Because uh, you need like 30 or 40 blocks, which is why it's nice to build it over an ocean, because you've got a lot of room. I wouldn't want to build it over top of this, for example. But I could. What's over this way? This has me thinking. I think, is there ocean over this way? There is. Huh. And turtles. Ooh. Hello, turtles. Okay. That's a possibility, too. In fact, I could even clean out some of those trees and stuff. Depending on how excited I want to get about it. I have convenient ocean, so I probably should just use that. Yeah, and just bring up a few zombies, smack them until they uh, start doing stuff. Yeah, that's that's an idea. It's absolutely an idea. Southwest-ish. Okay. Yeah. Southwest. Yeah. Right along. Oh, look. We're going to peek over the fence at the neighbors while they make babies. No, it's not creepy. No. Absolutely not. <gasps> Egad. They want to not make babies. Okay, I bet one of those guys over there has claimed the bed. That's not good. Okay. That's not good at all. I can't say I'm overly surprised, but... Okay. Alright, so we're just gonna... Okay, close that. Alright. Alright. Y'all can uh, proceed with the baby making. All right, that would do it. Yeah, because if these guys are close enough that they didn't forget about the bed, that would that would make sense. Okay. All right. Are you gonna? Are you? You must be done with the baby making for today. Okay. All right. Well, you know, I I guess that's okay. <sighs> All right. Well, 
I do have other villagers. I, I've got this guy. And I do have a couple of others over there, so... I could make it work based off the villagers I have. Um, or if I really need to, I could try to drop another bed somewhere. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's not creepy at all. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. But that said, um, non-creepiness aside, I think it is a good... This is a good place for me to uh, call it a stream. Uh, webcam button. Ah, so thank you all for hanging out with me today as I've been, as I try to stay awake and do all of the fun prep work to get the raid farm done. Um, said, I think I'm going to build that tomorrow, but, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun and exciting to get this up. I've never built a raid farm before, so it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, no, I have built one. It wasn't a good one, but I did build it. <laughs> I take that back. I totally forgot. Anyway, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. Remember to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, all that good stuff, and subscribe at musicfreegaming.com if you would like to support the channel. Uh, you get access to behind the scenes blog posts, um, uh, subscriber only channels in the Discord, and early access to the podcast. So check that out at musicfreegaming.com. And until next time, be excellent to each other. This is Music Free Gaming signing off.